We're very excited at Unita to, uh, to show you a brand new product that we've come out with. It's called Eka Silk. Now, traditionally in sanding, in the, in, the, in the kitchen cabinet industry, furniture industry, what have you, traditionally sanding's always been done with conventional abrasives, such as this, you know, just a typical aluminum oxide product. And, you know, we always have sold a lot of sponges. There's a lot of sponges used in the industry, especially in between coats of finish. Like this is a prime part. And what happens when you prime something, as you know, you get, you get bumps uh, from that raised grain and you have to denib that. So we've invented, a, we come out with a product called Eka Silk. It's very unique. And it can be used on both white wood and it can be used both on finish. So what I'm gonna demonstrate to you today, first of all, is gonna be on the white wood. Now, as you can see, I've pencil tested this, put pencil marks on it rather, so we can do a pencil test to show you the, the stock removal capabilities of, of the product. But in addition, what I really wanna point out and show you is it, as you know in your shops, when you're sanding a profile door, you have to get down into this area here, this profile. You have a lot of different profile in here. You have a cut right here, so you have a rounded edge here. You have to get down into here. Now, traditionally in most shops, what they have to do, the flat parts are easy to sand. You can do that typically with a conventional abrasive. But getting in here has always required a lot of hand work. You're taking sheets and you're folding them up and you have to get down into these areas with those sheets. What Eka Silk is, is allowing everyone to do now is, as you can see, this particular product here is gonna be a medium. That's gonna leave us about a 150 grit, 180 grit scratch on this white wood, which is what you want to get a good stain penetration when you go to the stain room. Now, so this one's medium. This particular product comes in two forms as far as the three by four sander we're gonna use. You have a half inch and you have a five millimeter. And I'll explain in a minute what the differences in these are. And these also, they come in coarse, medium, fine, very fine and super fine. Typically in your shop, what you're gonna use uh, for the white wood on your raw doors is gonna be typically coarse and medium. And when you get into your finish, depending on what type of finish you're using, depending on how hard, difficult it is to sand that raised grain, you'll either go to fine, very fine, super fine, or a combination of the three throughout your finishing process. And we'll demonstrate that in just a second too. But first I wanna start with the white wood. As I, again, as I said, there's really been no way in the past to get down in this area without doing some hand sanding. That's slow, it's cumbersome, it's hard on your employees' wrists. This new product really solves a lot of problems. And I'm gonna show you how it does that. As you can see again, I've marked all of this with pencil so you can see the dust, I mean the, uh, I'm sorry, the stock removal capabilities of this product. So using a medium, I'm gonna leave about a 150, 180 grit scratch in this product. And I'm not gonna have to hand sand anything in here to remove these, these, these pencil marks. And what I'm using for this demonstration is gonna be our three by four pneumatic sander from MechaSand. And the one unique thing about our product compared to anybody else's is we are, have maintained an aluminum housing. It really helps absorb that vibration. You don't get as much fatigue in your hand and wrist. So the EcoSand was a three by four Eka Silk medium. Now, as you can see, I'm using this half inch on the flats. And actually what will do an even better job on the flats will be the five millimeter. And I'm gonna use that in a medium as well. So we're gonna get about a 150, 180 grit finish on this. And the reason a lot of people wanna go with a five millimeter, as you can see, it's stiffer, it's thinner, because a lot of people don't really wanna break that edge. They wanna keep it sharp. And if you use a half inch, it's got so much conformability that it's gonna to tend to round that edge. This will keep it flat. So the five millimeter on the flat areas, including the center panel, is great, and then we'll use this to do the profile. I put these pencil marks in pretty deep, so we're taking off probably about four thousand. Okay, I gotta get another piece. I put those in way too deep. What 
I feel when I sand with this, a lot of times with a conventional sandpaper, it tends to grab and pull a little bit. This is a very smooth cut, still a relatively quick cut. A standard coated abrasive is going to give you a little bit quicker cut, but then again, you're losing a lot of the conformability that you get with Echo Silk. So on the flats, nice 150, 180 grit finish. Now the challenging part for most people, as I mentioned, is getting down into this area. So we're gonna switch now from a five millimeter pad to a half inch medium. Again, it's gonna give us about a 150, 180 grit finish. And the objective for this is gonna be to get down into these profiled areas. Now, as you can see, when I lay this machine on here, just naturally it conforms into the, into the workpiece. Just fits perfectly in there. It wraps right around all your profiles. And the beautiful thing is it's not gonna change your profile. With a conventional sandpaper, it will tend to flatten that out. Again, it's a really nice cut, very smooth. You're not getting a lot of drag, it's not grabbing. And I'm really able to get into these profiles. And you end up with a very nicely sanded 150, 180 grit finish to go to stain. We've gotten down to this profile. I wish you could feel it, but you can't. But there's, there's no race fiber or anything. It's a very nice, nice uh, satin finish on that. Now, I want to show you another little trick. If you really want to make this a little quicker process for you, get even more conformability, what I've done here is this is an interface pad. It's typically about this size, and all I've done is simply cut a little strip out of it. So what I'm going to do now, if I'm going to do a lot of these doors all day and I've got this profile, I'm going to create that profile on this machine. And it's really cool because you do a lot of different things with this. I have a lot of customers that have uh, moldings that have a scoop in it. You could take this, form it onto that pad, and you already got the scoop. So then it will fit right down in your scoop to sand. But since this one's an edge profile, I'm going to move this cut interface pad to the edge, put the echo silk on it. Let me get it straight. Now, as you can see here, we've created, it's, it's, it's lower on this edge. So when I bring it over to the workpiece, it's already pretty much conformed to that profile. As you can see, it really, really gets into all those tight, tight profiles. Now, this is a good way to do it, creating that profile, but again, because this is so forgiving, it's not even absolutely necessary. It just kind of quickens the process. Really make sure you get into everything, all the nice, tight nooks and crannies, really, really well. As we just demonstrated, Echo Silk is a phenomenal so that's product Silk for white wood sanding. But probably the most exciting part of Echo Silk is the fact that you can use it in between coats of finish, whether you're doing uh, sill sanding, whether it's a painted product, and you got to sand the prime coats in between. Because as you guys know, when you prime a, a wood with, the, with all the water and everything that's in the finish, you get a lot of grain pop. So it's rough and you feel that. Now that has to be sanded down. And traditionally throughout the industry, whether it's the cabinet industry, kitchen industry, that's almost always been done by hand with either a typical coated abrasive sheet that's wrapped around a block or with a sponge type product that you're sitting there either on your hanging line or your flat line and you have to hand sand all that, that uh, raised grain down so that you can put your next coat of finish on. Now, not in every case, but in many cases we find that the finishing that the customers are doing creates enough finish that you'll be able to do this with a machine now rather than by hand. This is a prime door and we need to sand it to get it prepared for the, for the, next, um, the next finish coat. So what I'm gonna do is this is, is a primer, it's painted with primer. It's got a lot of raised grain. So I'm gonna use a uh, half inch sponge to knock that raised grain down. 
And I'm going to do that without sanding through this finish, which is the most important part. And the thing about sanding in between coats, you don't want to over sand. You simply want to denib it, knock that raised grain down, and move on. And you always want to let, especially when you're sanding finish with a machine, you want to definitely let this machine do the work. You don't need to lay into it. it the, the brace of grain is a cutting tool. Just let it do the cutting, let it do the work. So, here you see, I didn't sand through. Now the most critical part I'm sure you're saying is that's fine, but what about here? Because these edges are typically where people are sanding through. So, I'm gonna sand that now. No sand through. Typically in the past, you've always had to do that by hand to keep any sand through from happening. Now, you can automate your shop. You can go to a pneumatic machine or even use this on an electric and really help lower your labor cost. It's much better for your employees. They're not sitting there getting uh, carpal tunnel and everything from having to bend the sheets over, to bend sponges over, to get into all these, all these profiled areas. We're very happy about this. Give us a call and we'll be happy to get you samples to try out our new Ecosilt product.